It's been almost a year since I started selling cash secured puts on ChargePoint Holdings. So ChargePoint Holdings is an American electric vehicle infrastructure company um, based out of uh, North America. They are the market leaders in EV charging stations in North America, and they have a very strong presence inside Europe. So that was one of the reasons why I decided to sell cash secure puts in ChargePoint in the first place. However, what I didn't realize that it was going to drop nearly 60% uh, in the past year. So what I've been doing is I've been, um, since selling cash secure puts back in July, August, September last year, I have been continuing to sell cash secured puts to reduce my cost basis and reduce my uh, break even to hopefully the share price will eventually meet my cost basis and get me out of this particular trade. So what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through my cost basis, all my stats that I've been collecting over the last year. We'll also be looking at the charts to see where I think charge point is going to go. And then lastly, we'll be looking at the current cash secured puts and covered call trades that I've got on. So if you like the sound of that, all I ask for is that you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'm producing weekly one to two videos every single week. So make sure you smash that uh, bell notification icon as well. So the first thing I want to say about ChargePoint is... For those who've been watching my recent videos around intrinsic value and all these other good things and my current new trading strategy, ChargePoint would not be included in the way I trade and the way I invest today. And it's because of ChargePoint is what's made me create a better sustainable blueprint to create wealth. And that's because ChargePoint doesn't hit one of the main criteria, which is um, it is not a profitable company, so you can't, and it doesn't produce free cash flow or earnings, so therefore you can't create an intrinsic value for ChargePoint currently. So that's not to say you shouldn't invest in a company like ChargePoint, but you should be using your your gains you make from your premiums to go invest in more speculative, high growth plays like ChargePoint. So you know, yes, at the moment I am I've got a seventy three thousand dollar lesson, but you know I. I think in the long run, this experience has helped me become a better trader and investor. But that's not to say that I'm going to sell my shares and, I, and I'm out of this position. Um, my, like I said, my aim is, is to keep reducing my cost basis. I do believe in charge point in the long term, and that is not biased because I've got $73,000 in it. If you look at where the EV market is going over the next five years, charge point is a leading provider in that space, right? When you compare it to Blink and Plug, all the other EV charging station companies out there, ChargePoint has a better footfall, higher market share, better product in my opinion. So as you can imagine, when you've got $73,000 invested, you're doing a lot of research and watching all the news on what's going on with ChargePoint. They're smashing the earnings, they're still growing their top line, and um, you know it's only a matter of time before they start you know, taking some of that, uh, reinvesting all those profits back into the company to put those back down to the bottom line to get them into a profitable company. So overall, I'm very happy with ChargePoint as a company, as a fundamentals. That is not the concern. It is the macroeconomic environment, high inflation, high interest rates, Russia, Ukraine, all these other different things which are tanking the market. And if anyone has been in the stock market, most probably your stock is down this year as well. Probably not as high as 59%, depending on what you've invested in, but that is the kind of scene setting of where we are. So, <clears throat> as I said, I own 2,700 shares at a cost basis of 73,000. So if I take these out, you'll see here that my <clears throat> average price, my cost basis price is 27.17. Now, in the last update I did, we were in the 28. So we managed to reduce that by a dollar, uh, primarily buying uh, more shares or being assigned cash secured puts uh, and adding to it. I think I was on 2,600 shares of my last charge point update. So I've gained an additional 100 shares. Um, my premium's gone up by about a grand since my last video a couple months ago. 
um, and we're up to 13.3k, which again is amazing. And the cash on cash return against the 73 is you know 18.26%. So again, I'm selling covered calls every single week and I'm using that money to build up capital to then sell cash secure puts. So all those premiums from puts and from calls is getting reinvested back into charge point to get assigned more shares to reduce that cost basis faster. Because if I just sell covered calls all the time, it's going to take me a long time to bring down my uh, break even. <clears throat> and you'll see that, you know, the break even is at 22, 21, you know, very, very, you know, we're, we're creating a bigger gap and bigger distance between the average price, which is what we want to see. And, you know, it'll be a milestone if we when we get that break even under twenty dollars. I think I'll need to get more shares to be able to do that. But when we get there to have a one in front of it from a psychological perspective would be absolutely amazing. So, again, the stock price is twelve seventy. And the bit that's really interesting is if you look at it based on my last update in February, it hasn't really moved. However, what you'll see back in um let's go let's go the last six months you'll see here back in um april so not too long ago just only a couple of months ago um we were as high as twenty dollars right twenty dollars you know which if you think about when i had a break even of um a 22 it wasn't that far away from the uh, from the actual break even which i started to get excited about and then it also went to a, a you know highs of uh, 15, but you know, it tanked recently from 15 back down to around uh, 1270. So, if you look at the last five days, it's dropped by 17%. So, you have the ebbs and flows of charge point inside the market, which is fine. Um, doesn't matter if it's trading at nine or 12. The only two numbers I'm really interested in at this point is that and that, right? And if charge point does drop in the tens, which it has done, or below the tens, and I'm selling cash secure puts and I get assigned then again, I'm reducing that cost basis further because the price has dropped even more. So where we look at now, we're just over 50% behind on our cost basis and around 43% behind on break even. So if I did inflate the price, I think it went, like I said, went up to like 12. You can see here, I was I would have been 26% and only 10% away. So, you know, it can change relatively quickly. So, you know, things are there again we talked about the 18.26 percent cash on cash return the market value of my 73 grand is now worth 34 so therefore i am down in this position thirty nine thousand dollars. you know and i think in my last update i was down 36 so i've actually increased my PL more and that's mainly down to getting assigned more shares at around the 15 mark and again it's dropped to like 1270 so that's the reason there so hopefully that kind of makes sense you've got any questions comment down below but this is again it's all important about tracking your trades so when we look at the chart what i obviously like to do is put up the ogt gamma indicator again it's a long-term and short-term moving averages i'll put a video in the top right corner so you guys can learn about this indicator absolutely free if you just type in indicators ogt again i've got a number of um indicators that are um available uh available to use and it is oh this is the one that actually um trading view actually banned so what i'll do is is i'll put the i'll put the video and then the um I was going to say here the uh, the code will be in the notepad file in the download link down below if you want to get this indicator um so you can see here that you know <coughs> following the gray you know uh <coughs> lower lows lower highs kind of model here all the way up to back in december 2020 when he got as high as what is the high here you know 50 dollars nearly so <coughs> and we're currently trading at 12. so you can see that and what you're seeing is the downward moves i've been looking at this i'm not going to do it now but you can see visually that the downward move momentum are is getting smaller and you can kind of see here that you know i think we might be starting to range out a little bit before we start you know looking to go uh to go up hopefully we do there but i do think there is a bit more pain uh, <coughs> we do have earnings coming out 
roughly, I think it's probably scheduled for around September the 1st. I don't think we've had an official announcement yet. So we've not got any earnings to worry about. Like I said, cost basis and break even, I update this based on the information that I have in the spreadsheet when I update the numbers. So and visually, it's just good to see where we are. 27.17, break even of 22, uh, 21. Like I said, if we can knock out an extra $2, I'll probably need to get assigned some shares to get a one in front of that break even. That will be psycho, uh, from a psychological perspective, you know, that will take us back to March levels where currently our break even is sitting at December levels. So, you know, the more cushion we can bring down, the more aggressive covered calls I can do in my break even. I don't want to get rid of the stock at break even. I want to collect some of my premiums of that 13 grand. And by the time it gets there, probably be about 20 grand worth of premiums. Um, so, but I can be a bit more risky going a lot more closer to the money. So let's now have a look at um, from a technical perspective. And again, the only good thing that I can kind of see at the moment is that we have some sort of support um, at this kind of, you know, $12, $12 mark where we, uh, where we are now, which is, which is good to see. And the other thing is, is that you're seeing that we're making l lower lows um, over here. And then the RSI, so this is a classic divergence where it's very hard to do with um, with those things in there. But I think you get what I mean. Uh, I can move this down to over there. That's where I want it. Yeah, so you can see here that price is making lower lows. The RSI indicator is making lower highs. That is regular bullish divergence, which is a bullish technical indicator um, confirmation or strategy of there. So again, because I'm technically investing and it doesn't matter if the price is $12 or $10, I don't mind owning the shares because it's going to reduce my cost basis. But it's just good to see that we're starting to now see um, technical indicators to potentially get get to the upside it doesn't need to get to 27 dollars anywhere in this kind of range or what i'm calling the golden zone now is where i kind of need it to uh need it to land on but it has to break for me where we where we need to get to is if we draw this over here right we need the price to be breaking uh breaking this kind of trend right i'm going to bring this down slightly so it's probably probably about better so if we can get um i'm just going to save this for uh people in the coaching group um that if we can start breaking these here then we're starting to break out this kind of main trend that we're seeing at the moment that's kind of where we need to go to the other thing you kind of got is uh ascending triangle over here so you've kind of got this situation here where you're going to get to the apex point or where price can either break down or break up outside of this kind of place. So you've got all of these different things happening from a technical perspective. Um, but for me, I'm not trading this stock. I'm technically a long-term investor now. I've been in this for over a year. Uh, I'm still you know, looking to create and just get anywhere in this section, well, anywhere, anywhere below this number, I'm looking to go purchase some more shares. Um, and try to get them as low as I can. So that's a good segue into the number of shares that we've got. So again, we've got 2,700. So in terms of from a, a puts perspective, I've got a 12 put and I've got a nine and a half put. Um, expiring ju end July, basically all pretty much until the end of July. So again, I'm still um, I'm still picking up premium, $33. Um, and uh, 50, um, 56 dollars. So again, these two uh, values here are contributing to getting those premiums. And again, I'm selling covered calls. One thing you guys will be asking is you can see that my um, cost basis is twenty seven seventeen. My break even is twenty two twenty one. I'm selling calls be below my cost basis. I have to because at the twenty two at the break even strike, you're getting like less than you're not even getting a dollar. So I'll just be holding the stock like everyone else. So that is the reason why I'm doing it this way. Um, again, the average price, this is a roll, so I wouldn't worry about it. But either way, all you know is is that um, 
I'm making money. It's not 2.8 because I bought back. So it's probably about 400, $500. So I wouldn't look at this number. I did make 2.8 K. That would be nice. Um, yeah. Cause my cost basis was 3.4. So I had to roll this position cause I got, um, in the money for this call. So I had to buy it back expensive and then, um, sell it there for a net credit i think it was about like i said about five dollars or something but five dollars on two on two thousand seven hundred shares <clears throat> is five times 27 is again 135 dollars not huge amounts of money but again picking up those breadcrumbs and continuing to reduce the break even and the cost basis which is the goal so like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Again, like, subscribe. There's some more videos on the screen now about the gamma indicator as well as the <coughs> um, what to do. Because uh, again, I'm, I'm considering myself an expert in this now. Um, what to do if you're st if you're in the same position as me where a stock is down 50, 60%. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.